50 days until Election Day, but absentee voting begins October 12th. That's only 23 days away. In fact, so many people are now voting absentee, it's become a pivotal part of the election. With more on absentees, 27 First News reporter Dan Marcel joins us. His story is new at 11. Good evening, Stan. Less than two months to go, but Ohio's Secretary of State John Husted announced today that Ohio has received more than half a million absentee ballot applications. That's roughly 40,000 more than at this same time in 2012. Now, with so many people not going to the polls, we wanted to find out why. People are, are coming in and you don't know what time you may get hit all at once with a, a lot of people. You really can't predict what's going to go on at what time, and that's why I use the word chaotic. Rhonda Warren has worked in polling places in previous elections. She uses words like chaos to describe busy polling places during Election Day. Much more busy than the just regular elections, and the crowds were overwhelming, I'd say. Ohio is what's known as a no-fault absentee state, so voters don't need any particular reason to excuse themselves on Election Day. 524,000 people in Ohio have already applied for absentee ballots in the state, and Mahoning County is seeing its fair share as well. We're well pushing 8,000 uh, absentee applications, which is almost double what we did four years ago and eight years ago. McCabe says it's partly a convenience and political interest. Mahoning County has more than doubled the number of registered Republicans for this presidential election, with a large portion of voters using the absentee ballot option. We're expecting anywhere from 35 to 40 percent of all our voters to vote absentee prior to November 8th. Now, absentee ballot applications must be received by the boards of election no later than Saturday, November 5th. They also need to be postmarked by the day before the election. So anyone planning on using it needs to know that. We'll have all of the information on our website at WKBN.com. Live in the studio, Dan Marcel, WKBN 27, First News at 11.